Hello kids, welcome to MathJoot. Today we are going to learn fractions division. How to do division operation in fractions. Before going for the division, we need to understand term reciprocal. R-E-C-I P-R-O-C-A-L Suppose I have a number 4. The reciprocal will be inverse of this. That is 1 by 4. 4 by 1 I can say right. So what happens here in reciprocal? The numerator will become denominator and denominator will become numerator. Suppose I have a number 3. 3 reciprocal will be 1 by 3 because I have a number 1 here. So the numerator will become the denominator and denominator will become the new numerator. Suppose I have a fraction 1 by 2. What will be the reciprocal? The numerator will become denominator and denominator will go to numerator's place. So 1 by 2 means the new numerator will be 2 and the denominator will become 1. So 1 by 2 is nothing but 2. Let us take one more fraction 5 by 3. In this the numerator will go to denominator's place and denominator will go to numerator's place. So that equal to 3 by 5. If I ask you what is the reciprocal of 7 by 8? It is 8 by 7. Understand? Suppose I have a mixed fraction like 1 1 by 2. First, to find out the reciprocal, you have to convert into a improper fraction. Right. So, 1 1 by 2, what is the improper fraction? 2 ones are 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 by 2 is the improper fraction. Now, you have to find the reciprocal. Is nothing but the denominator will become the new numerator. Numerator will be goes to denominators. 3. So the reciprocal of 1, 1 by 2 will be 2 by 3. This mixed fraction, first you have to convert into improper fraction and then you have to find the reciprocal. Now tell me. 2, 2 by 3. What is the reciprocal? If you remember, first you have to convert this mixed fraction to improper fraction. That is nothing but 8 by 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 and by 3. Now reciprocal will be 3 by 8. Understand? Let us take a question here for fractions 2 by 3 divided by 1 by 4. I will just give you one more question here 8 divided by 2. What is 8 divided by 2 means? How many 2's are there in 8? Right. Same way here how many 1 4's or quarters are there in 2 by 3? That's what it means. Understand? Now, the first step in doing the division in fraction is the first fraction 2 by 3 remains the same. Okay? And now, you have to find the reciprocal of 1 by 4. The for the second fraction, you have to find the Reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 1 by 4? It is nothing but 4 by 1. Right. 
so that is 4 by 1 now for division in fractions we are going to do the multiplication only now 2 by 3 times 4 by 1 got it so first step is nothing but division we are going to do okay in division we have to find the reciprocal and the division will symbol will becomes multiplication now after doing this it will turn into a multiplication question you already knew how to do the multiplication you have to multiply both the numerators and you have to multiply both the denominators now the answer will be 2 times 4 8 by 3 now we have got the answer is it no not at done there is one more step here you have to reduce the fraction to its lowest terms you remember reducing fraction to its lowest terms you have to find out the common factors and simplify that is nothing but the reducing the fraction for this 8 by 3 can be reduced to its lowest terms it is already in its lowest terms okay now 8 by 3 is a improper fraction right you have to convert into a mixed fraction understand you have to convert into a mixed fraction so 8 by 3 the mixed fraction if you remember how to convert 8 divided by 3 3 to the 6 quotient is 2 and remainder is also 2 8 divided by 3 is nothing but we are going to divide home we are going to find out how many 3's are there in 8 okay so it comes to 2 2 by 3 so the answer for how many 1 4's are there in 2 by 3 the answer is 2 2 by 3 understand 3 divided by 5 by 9 so for doing this if you remember the first step is to divide for dividing what you need to do 1 by 3 divided by 5 by 9 that is nothing but 1 by 3 we are going to do the multiplication operation and for the second fraction you have to find the reciprocal reciprocal of 5 by 9 is equal to 9 by 5 right so I converted the division to multiplication and find the reciprocal that is 9 by 5 the next step we already knew we just need to multiply the numerators 1 times 9 and then for the denominator part you have to multiply both the denominators of the fractions 3 by 5 that is equal to 9 by 3 times 5 equal to 15 now remember the second step is reduce the fraction to its lowest terms so here we have the fraction 9 by 15 is this fraction in its lowest terms yes or no it is not in its lowest terms now we have to reduce 3 is a common factor for both the numerator and denominator I can write it as 3 times 3 by 3 times 5 3 3s are 9 and 3 5s are 15 both 9 and 15 will come in 3 table right now to reduce the fraction we have to strike out the common terms in both the numerator and denominator 3 is common so I strike off 3 in the numerator and the denominator now I get 3 by 5 and if you remember we have to check whether this is a proper fraction or improper fraction or a mixed fraction 
if it is a proper fraction it is fine but if it is an improper fraction you have to convert into a mixed fraction but now 3 by 5 it is a proper fraction we can stop here now we found out how many 5 by 9s are there in 1 by 3 the answer is 3 by 5 let us see one more example here. Third example we are seeing now. Let us take a fraction. 1, 2 by 5 divided by 2, 1 by 3. You know why I have taken this example? I want to show you how to do with a mixed fraction. If you see here, 1, 2 by 5 is a mixed fraction. And 2, 1 by 3 is also a mixed fraction. So, for doing this kind of problems, first thing what you need to do is, 1, 2 by 5, you have to convert into improper fraction. 5, 1, 5, 5 plus 2, 7 by 5. And 2, 1 by 3 will become, 2, 3 is 6. 6 plus 1, 7 by 3. Right. So, the problem changes as 1, 2 by 5 will become 7 by 5 divided by 2, 1 by 3 will become 7 by 3. Now, we have to follow the steps. Step 1 is divide. Right. In division, remember what is the first thing we have to do? 7 by 5. The division symbol it convert into multiplication and next thing is what we have to find the reciprocal of 7 by 3 right what is the reciprocal of 7 by 3 to do what the reciprocal that is numerator will become denominator and denominator will become numerator that is nothing but 3 by 7 right same thing I am going to write here 3 by 7 now it is a normal fractions multiplication that equals to numerators you have to multiply denominators you have to multiply 7 times 3 21 5 times 7 35 the first step is done. Now, what is the second step? Reduce fraction to its lowest terms. Right. What is reducing fraction? You have to find the common factors in both the numerator and denominator. Right. 21 by 35 is now equal to 7 by 3 times 5 by 7. You must be wondering why I am going doing the same step like this again. As a beginner, unless you are very much uh, doing this, you should follow the steps. If you got used to this, that you should remember like, okay, these are common fractions. There only I can simplify, right? You can do it straight away. But... In the beginning, you better need to remember the steps and do the fraction. As you keep practicing, you need not do the same how am I doing. Here, finding out the common terms and removing them, we get 3 by 5. Now, 3 by 5 is a proper fraction and we can stop here. Right. So, 1, 2 by 5 divided by 2, 1, 3 becomes 3 by 5. That is the answer. Now I am going to show you one more example without following the steps. Okay. Hello kids. Let us see one more example. As you already got enough knowledge of this, we are going to do little faster. Okay. So without following the steps, I am going to do. But there are rules which you need to remember if 
there is a mixed fraction you have to convert into improved fraction then division becomes multiplication then you have to find the reciprocal you get to the point where you are multiplying two fractions right okay let us do the first step so 1 pi by 9 divided by 2 by 3 9 ones are 9 9 plus 5 14 by 9 times 3 by 2 right now instead of going to step 2 what I am going to do is I am going to simplify 3 and 9 both are I can do the simplification 3 ones are 3 3 3 is are 9 that equals to 14 by 3 times 1 by 2 is there place for us to do some more simplification yes 14 comes in two tables so I can go for two table 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 7 is 14 now what I got 7 by 3 into 1 by 1 I can write 1 or just not keeping it okay now I came to the point where the first step is done now what are we going to do in the second step in the second step we have to reduce the fraction to simpler terms or lowest terms which we already did here that is nothing but 7 by 3 now the next thing you have to check is whether it is a improper or proper fraction if it is, if it is a proper fraction you can leave it there it is but if it is improper fraction you should convert to mixed fraction you should convert the improper fraction to mixed fraction so this is a improper fraction so I need to convert it so here 7 divided by 3 I need to find out how many times 3 comes in 7 it comes in 2 times and 1 is the remainder 2 is the quotient so 2 1 by 3 it is nothing in the form of Q or by D right quotient remainder and the denominator right so 2 1 by 3 is the answer I hope you understood the fractions division if you like our video subscribe us if you have any doubts you can post in the comment section thank you for watching